Yeah, I'm just looking around at the moment. Right. <laughs> more easy for you for now. <laughs> that works. We're back. It's time for Cash America. Let's see if uh, I missed anything or if there's some good stuff. Let's go. Welcome. Hey. Hey, how are you, boss? Good, how are you? Yeah, very good. What well, once? I'm just looking around at the moment. <laughs> More easy for you for now. That works. I'm good on those. You got on um, those? Good. Uh, the, okay, so the, well, well, I guess we'll move bottom up. On the, ah. on the bottom section, the resistance three. That one. There you go. Let's see. Okay. Um, what's that green case on the bottom level? These? Not that one. The empty one. The one that has no cover. These? Yeah, I just want to see what it is. Call of Duty. Black Ops 2? Okay. Black Ops 2. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, sorry. No the uh, the blank PS3 cases. Ah, here you go. Call of Duty Black Ops. The first one. Okay. Yes. Can I see the what's that? Oh yeah, what's that? Oh, ghost. Ghost. Okay. Can I see the regular Black Ops and then the green case with two in it? Yeah, that one and then the green, the big green case. That one. That one. Yeah. I just want to look at them, see how they are. Okay. Is it these ones? Uh, I was gonna look at a few more. The what's the blue case? The Wii U one, Lego Marvel. Okay. Marvel Legos. Okay. Uh, what's the blank case next to that one? Yeah. And shell. Okay. Uh, Next shelf up, the group, the blank. I just basically just want to look at all the blank cases, gotcha. see what they are. Stream. Skyrim. Okay. Skyrim. Okay. Battlefield. Okay. And then what's that? One? Drink. Oh, NBA. Okay. Uh, there's a white case. Okay, FIFA. FIFA. There's one NBA. NBA. Okay. NBA. NBA. Bottle. Dot. Dot. Dragon Age. Battleborn. Battle All right, um, down there there's a white case. This is section eight on it. Your hand's right on it. Ne the next one, that one, yeah. Look at that one. Section eight. Okay. When I get knocked out, when I get up again, you're never gonna keep me down. Okay. Um, and then what are the blank PS4 cases up there? What one? There's, ah. yeah. Yes, sir. Let's see what those are. My Madden. Name. NBA, NBA, NBA Skyrim. Skyrim. Okay. I think. I'm not sure I didn't miss anything. I think that's it. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I might be interested in those. What you can do for me. Okay. Twelve ninety, my friend. All right. Sounds good. Doubt. Thank, Thank you, much. you. God bless. And you too. Always more. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm going to try to do this the traditional way. I think I can. Uh, so I picked up four games at Cash America and did pretty well. Uh, they were had a bunch of stuff, but a lot of it was either stuff I didn't need or stuff that was just too, you know, not, not worth anything. 
Um, but I think I picked up some good older gen games. So we'll start off with Resistance 3 on the PS3. Uh, I have Resistance 2, but I don't have 3. Uh, so, and this one's in good shape. It didn't come with a manual. I don't think these, this one did. Um, but it's in good shape. Complete. Figured I'd grab it. Paid $3 for each game uh, that I got. So pretty, pretty nice, easy score. Uh, next up is Section 8 on the Xbox 360. I had this game a long time ago. Uh, of course, it's generic case, but it's a, a fun first-person shooter. I haven't played it in a long time, so I figured, you know what, might as well grab it for three bucks. Can't go wrong there. And then the last two games I got to flip. We'll see how well I do. I hope I do okay. I don't know for sure, but we'll we'll find out, I guess. Um, we have Call of Duty Black Ops and Black Ops 2 on the PS3. They had both. Um, they're not in perfect shape. Uh, they have some scratches, so I'll probably have to be charged a refurb fee. But even then, I think I'll make something back. Um, at least a little a little bonus credit for it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I got. It was kind of a disappointing return because I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. Um, but there just wasn't a whole lot to get. I, I thought about going to Simple Pond and La Familia, but I'm just too tired and it's just too hot. So that's a trip for another day but we came back we went to the ponds but now i'm gonna head to gamestop because i have some stuff to trade in and i have some stuff to pick up so let's go ahead and head there and see what i get all right it's gamestop time let's go uh trade in some stuff and pick up a few things let's go all right it is time for our final recap of this adventure we checked out of course my favorite pawn shop and we went to GameStop, and I have some joyous news when it comes to GameStop. So, you might recall, a while ago, if you've been watching this channel for a while, my local GameStop used to have a retro drawer, where they put all the games that are not from current platforms. So we're talking Wii, PS2, or not, not usually PS2, but usually like Wii, Xbox 360, PS3, and they had a few older games in there. That's where I was able to score uh, him Simpsons Hit and Run on GameCube. I scored a Mario Party 7 in there. I scored a bunch of GameCube games and a bunch of other stuff from that retro drawer. Um, when I went to GameStop, after doing all my game hunting at pawn shops, I discovered the retro drawer was back. So I not only picked up a modern game, but I also picked up a couple pretty solid additions to my collection from the retro drawer. So now that's something I'm gonna have to check every time I go in there. But anyway, let's start off with our pawn shop pickups at good old Cash America. I only kept two of them, but I think they're pretty good additions to the collection. So we'll start off with section eight on the Xbox 360. It is a loose copy. Um, this is a first person shooter from TimeGate. Uh, I believe they were the original developers of, um, it was a series that was supposed to be the next big thing and it ended up not being the next big thing. Um, but yeah, anyway, I played this a while ago and it was a decent first person shooter. It was cheap at, at Cash America. I didn't own it, figured I'd grab it. Uh, that one I paid $3 for and it's actually worth four in loose condition. So a little bit of a bump up, that's fine. It's a game I didn't own. Uh, then we have a game that actually is a pretty solid pickup. And that is Resistance 3 on the PS3. I own the first two, but I didn't own the third one. Uh, now I have a complete copy of the third one, uh, which is great. So nice addition to the collection. Now I can play the whole Resistance trilogy on PS3. Anyway, this one I picked up for three bucks as well, and it is worth 12 in complete form. So a solid pickup there. And then we go back to GameStop. Uh, now, I picked up one new game, again, to kind of complete a collection. Um, <clears throat> now, this is a spin-off game. It looks good. The art style looks fantastic. And I've heard good things about the game itself, so I figured I'd snag it. Did pay full, full price, but that's okay. Um, we have Bayonetta Origins, Cereza, and The Lost Demon on the Switch. Um, looks like a like top-down action game made by Platinum. Uh, looks pretty cool. I'm excited to check it out at some point. I don't know when, because I still haven't beaten the first three Bayonetta games, but I figured I had to have it, especially to complete my Bayonetta collection. 
So I paid 60 bucks for this and it is worth 50. We did go down a little bit in price. And then we got our two retro drawer games and these were pretty solid pickups. So of course, when I looked, no GameCube. They did have a couple 3DS games, but there weren't anything like super noteworthy. Most of the 360 and PS3 weren't great, but they did have one PS3 game, which I knew has some value and I was correct. And they had a Wii game, which I did own at one point. I traded it in forever ago and I figured it's probably worth getting because honestly, the Wii is the best platform to play that type of game on. So the first one, is Ratchet & Clank Into the Nexus on the PS3. Uh, this is another Ratchet & Clank game. The PS3 had a whole bunch of Ratchet & Clank games that were kind of ignored, um, but I figured I would grab it. This was in really good shape, it's complete. Um, so I figured it was definitely worth a grab. This one I paid $18 for, and it's actually worth 30. So this was actually a very good score. Um, so yeah, glad to add another quality Ratchet & Clank game to my collection. And then the other one is House of the Dead 2 and 3 Return on the Wii. So if you've never played a light gun game on the Wii, it's basically the best way to play a light gun game except for having a light gun because the Wii pointer controls work very similarly. Um, the House of the Dead games are really fun on the Wii. This one is just a, a kind of a remaster of House of the Dead 2 and 3. And you can use the zapper um, or just a Wiimote to shoot zombies. I had this a while ago. It's good, good fun. Figured I'd grab it again since it was available. Paid 18 for this and it is worth 20. So a little bit of a bump up, nothing crazy. And that's it. Again, kind of a small week. Uh, I think I mentioned this last week, but whenever I go out game hunting now I kind of have to make episodes more condensed so I can get more out of them since I, I can't go out quite as often as I used to. A because it's a lot farther and B at least as of right now my funds are pretty tight so I have to be a lot more careful with my money. Um, but I still I'm still doing fine and I, I still have the ability to pick up more games for the collection so Things are good, uh, just can't do quite as much as I used to. But yeah, I think we added some really great games to the collection, pretty happy to add them. And uh, hopefully on the next episode, I'll actually be able to check out a brand new thrift shop that I've never been to before and see if they have games. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode of The Bargain Game Hunter. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you're new around here, be sure to hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. Uh, again, we're trying to release new episodes on this channel every week, <clears throat> and eventually we'll get back to doing other content besides just Marty and Game Hunter, uh, so be on the lookout. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time on the Bargain Game Hunter. Bye-bye.